Hey guys, what's going on? This is JD with Prep Time. And Leah, hi. And we're here at South Texas Gamers Expo at McAllen Convention Center 2014. And we're gonna go check it out in there. Hey guys, Leah for Prep Time. We're here at the Castle Crashers, you know, hanging out. So, guys, what made you want to do this cosplay? Well, um, we always play this game together and we're always chilling out and playing games. So we thought, well, what would be the best way to show that we're a group? And we thought Castle Crash is perfect. Okay, okay. You guys are so awesome for doing this. So apparently they play this game all day. I would understand that because I do it too. It's addicting. You guys are totally just awesome. Thank you guys. Okay, go ahead and like and subscribe to Prep Time. You guys can see more of these guys and more of the freaking expo. It's awesome. Hey guys, what's going on? This is JD with Prep Time, and we're here with Gus or Goss? Goss. Goss, also known as Raffle Copter. Yeah. All right, he was playing here some 8-bit mixes that he made, remixes that he's done, and he's like pretty badass. So I'm going to ask him, one, what made you do it? And two, where can we find your stuff? Um, what made me do it, actually, uh, I was a part, I wouldn't say I was a part of the scene. Um, during a time in high school, maybe when I was about, I want to say like 16, there was a really big scene for 8-bit uh, music around that time in, in Alamo, where I'm from. Okay. Uh, there was a really big scene back then. Uh, there was a lot of parties, <laughs> a lot of like high-energy stuff back then. And I would go to these shows and see these amazing shows, and, yeah. and it was like mind-blowing to me. And ever since, ever since then, I mean, that those people that played the shows back then, they dispersed. They moved to like Austin and stuff, and they got like uh, bigger little, cities. Maybe, yeah, bigger yeah. cities for their music. Nice. And. Um, you know, uh, when I saw this, I was like, man, we this uh, this is amazing stuff. And right. there was a point where like it all went away, and I was like, okay, why? Where where did this all go? Yeah, the death of it, man. Yeah, it, it sucked, happened, yeah. and I was like, where did this all go? So I contacted some people that I knew from the, from around the area that were still doing stuff like this, and right. I was like, man, this is awesome. I want to be a part of this. I want to be into this. So nice. what ended up happening was. Um, a friend of mine named Eric, uh, I got in contact with him and uh, he was like, yeah, dude, I do this stuff. And I was like, man, we should make a collaboration together. Oh, nice. So um, what ended up happening was my start was a collaboration with him and I was doing that for about a year and a half, maybe two years. I was doing like uh, Renegade shows at the Art Walk. Uh, right. I played at the Incubator maybe uh, once. That was an amazing show. Yeah. And uh, what ended up happening was uh, he showed me, he was like, hey man, you know what? He sat me down one day and he was like, I'm gonna show you how to make your own music. Oh, nice. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay. So what ended up happening is he showed me, I practiced and practiced. It took a really, it took a while for me to get everything down, but um, you know, uh, eventually I started going on my own. And okay. I started uh, making my own music. So that I guess that's like the origination <laughs> the of origination. Waffle Copter. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome, dude. That's so cool. Well, what do you call it um, on your programs? I mean, are you stuck on Fruity Loops? Or you have yeah, yeah. Uh, I use Fruity Loops. Yeah. Uh, there's certain VSTs that I can get. Yeah. Um, and I plug them in and. Um, what I'll do is I'll get like uh, uh, music sheets, okay, and uh, I'll plug that in the Fruity Loops. Okay. And what I end up doing is like, okay, this is the song. What am I gonna do to make this mine? Okay. So cool. and make this my own remix. Yeah. So I just go up on that and I plug in VSTs and mess around with like certain stuff. I mean, I have songs also that like I use a uh, guitar VST plugin. Oh, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Like Sweet. it's not all 8-bit. I mean, I have a lot of like random stuff. Yeah. Random stuff. Awesome. That's amazing. That's cool. And like, can we find any of your stuff online? Um. Yeah. It's really hard to look me up on Facebook. I would really say to look me up on SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um. Just uh, SoundCloud.com backslash uh, Rafflecopter. Rafflecopter. Yeah, or okay. just search Rafflecopter in the search bar. You'll find me. All right, cool. And we're going to be working with you out here. Yeah, so, man. Yeah. So you'll be hearing a new uh, Prep Time theme song, I'm hoping, in the near future. Secrets. Secrets. Uh, but you heard it here first here at the South Texas Gaming Expo. And this is Rafflecopter. He's going to go do his thing. And we'll see you all later. So don't forget to keep watching. Peace. I was walking around on this adventure and I ran into Chun-Li. 
So, what I want to ask you right now is what made you want to do this cosplay? I love her. She's so awesome. I mean, how many girls do you know can kick butt? Yeah. I mean, come on. She has these massive legs, these tiny waist, and she can kick super high. Yeah. Come on. What girl does not want to do that? And plus, are you Street Fighter addicted? Yes, but to be honest, I really suck at that game, yeah. but I love playing it. I don't care. I'm not yeah. really competitive, but as long as I get to play, I'm happy. Alright, so it's good. Okay, okay. Well, that's Chun Li's explanation. She's amazing, she's hot, she's gorgeous. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey guys, what's going on? This is JD and we're here with the third place winner of South Texas Gamer Expo, Deadpool. What's up? <laughs> yeah, so why'd you get third place Deadpool? You know, uh, while I was doing my thing over there, one of my guns fell out, so that lost some points. I think I shot a kid. I don't know, I heard some crying, but you know. <laughs> uh, I think that took me down a few notches, you know. Mm, and uh, you know, that, that guy who was dressed up as uh, one of the Halo characters, you know, he did pretty cool, but uh, I can take him. If he would have dropped his gun, I would have won. I just want that to be clear. Okay, well, you know what, dude? It's all right. You're still a winner in our eyes, man. That's right. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. We got in there. In there. Yeah. We also have tacos. And I love tacos. <laughs> nice. He loves tacos. Damn, man. Well, you always do a good job, dude. You're always Thank out you. in conventions and everywhere, man. So, yeah. like, are you keep doing this? I mean, do you have different ideas in play that you can't talk about or you can't talk well, about? Well, actually, this main idea is because uh, I do the 5K, like, off school runs in it. Okay. See, I got mud still on right. my boots. Right. And I'm right here. Wow. Okay. So I just have to wash this off every now and then. Even my thumb's broken. Look at that. Wow. But uh, other ideas, yeah, I definitely want to do my ideal thing would be uh, Sam Fisher, Splinter Cell, from nice. one of the gaming cons. But this kind of snuck up on me. I wasn't paying attention to my calendar. You know, I was kind of like not paying attention to a calendar. Not paying attention. Not paying attention. And that's what happened. So I'm like, you know what? I just do Deadpool. No, there you go. Well, it works because one, the Deadpool game just came out already. And I mean, people talked about it. People liked it. So there you go. It works. <laughs> nice, man. So like uh, Sam Fisher, like, so I'm taking it. You want to do more tactical type cosplays. Kind of. I, I like cosplays that you can really immerse yourself in the character, you know, being sad fish, I just like sneak around the walls like that, being real sneaky and creepy, be like, <laughs> he's gone. In Where the did shadows, he go? Not in the shadow. In the shadow. And then boom. Yeah. Kind of like that. With the whole like night vision and shit. Ooh, ooh. Nice man. All right. Well, congratulations on third place. Thank dude. you. Thank you so much for talking to us. And Anytime. we'll go ahead and um. Much love, baby. <laughs> We'll go ahead and see uh, what's going to happen in the future. So yeah, we're going to check out other gaming expos and see what we can do. All right. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, I ran into the whole guild and I decided to ask questions. Okay, anyway. So, what made you want to do this cosplay? Uh, I love the series and I find it great and I thought this would be a great costume. Okay. Well, you do. You look amazing. Thank you. Okay. If you want to see more of the guild, hang around, check out Prep Time, watch us. Uh, this guy's so great. Ah, okay. This is Deadpool, yo. Thanks for watching Prep Time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Right on here. What's up?